Hold up, please. Subscribe. What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? And just when you think you're out, they pull you right back in. Got something for you here today. It's five times three, 15 Dark Eldar Hellions. Right, those are the guys with the skyboards. And here's, a, here's another commission job. None of these are mine. They're all going to end up going to the client. And most of them were already built up, so all I had to do was just, I think, stick the arms and heads on like two or three of them. But I did have to base coat them, and I am going to have to paint them all up. So I'm going to see if I can get that done over the next couple of days. Two of them have agonizers, so I think this is probably going to be a, a list that gets... There's the other one in the back. A list that gets split up uh, into two separate units. But... You know, that's cool, or, or they just take one out, and I'm not even sure what the maximum unit size for a Hellions really is, so maybe if they just, the client just takes one of the agonizers out, then he can, or just count it as not having an agonizer, because none of these are magnetized, then you can just use it as one big unit. There's that chain grappling hook looking thing, whatever that is. I love that, man. The look... The look of these models is so great. They look so dynamic and just really awesome. And if you haven't seen it, here is my test model. And I'm just going to keep the same scheme as with my other Eldar. Nice highlighting, edge highlighting, light green. Oop, don't hit your buddy. And dark pale skin with some red design on the wings yeah my, my favorite part of, <laughs> my favorite part about this guy is the high five high five arm hey high five high five man how's it going this little human hand he's got on the back all speckled with blood and also the imperial aquila on his on his knife that he probably kept as a trophy real cool all right, also another part of this commission job is the lady herself, Miss Lilith Hesperax. I was thinking about doing a tutorial for her, but I am going to try something a little bit different and just just try it up. I don't want to waste the video and the memory space to record it because I have a fine cast. This is metal, but I personally have a fine cast miniature of this lady, so I'm going to see if my color scheme and my paint scheme works for her and if it does then I'll do a tutorial vid on how you can paint up your Lilith Hesperax. I went with the this uh, impaler spear thing because you can mimic the line of the spear that she's standing on or the banner or whatever and I think it makes a much more interesting picture than having the her second knife behind her great model. I was looking at the Games W <laughs> Games Workshop, the GW mixed those up website to see how I was going to paint her or even put her together and I noticed they both show you the model from the front in the same angle and I was like, "Why is that?" So I turned it around and that's right, folks. More butts. Although this one is going to be much better to paint than the orc butts, I think. Sick and tired of orc butts. So awesome figure. One of the reasons I agreed to this paint job, uh, to this job of painting all these dark Eldar things, more of these dark Eldar things, was that along with cash money, I got one of these, a super rare out of print female commissar from Games Workshop. They actually came out with this female commissar model. I read online that it was a exclusive at a GW. I think it was a like an open like a games day or something in Italy a long time ago in the late 90s and I think then they released it for a limited amount of time. I don't know if you can still get it. I haven't seen it in the catalog, but maybe I just didn't didn't look hard enough. But yeah, it's awesome. It looks like she's got some kind of a power sword and last pistol. 
Sorry, she keeps wanting to fall over forward. She's drunk! But I'm gonna love painting her. I don't think I'm gonna do her up in the Catachin scheme, just in case I want to use her with any other Imperial Guard army, but I'm really interested in getting my Catachins off the ground, and any other Commissars I paint, I'm gonna try to see if I can tie in some Catachin elements to it. But this one, I think, just because the figure is so rare, I think I'm just gonna give her a standard commissar paint job as do her up as best as I can to to honor her legacy and how rare she is. Anyways, this is just a little update on what I've got going on in my little corner of the painting world. Hope you all are doing well and have a great day.